Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caps by telling us about halal and haram. Be careful. Watch out what you eat. Watch what goes into your mouth. Watch your earnings. Make sure they are halal. Do you know that if I put in a morsel of haram in my mouth, whether it is haram because it has not been slaughtered properly, or whether it is haram because it was earned through haram means the first thing that curses me, my teeth, then my tongue, then my throat, then the esophagus going down, small colon, the big colon, right to the back until it comes out. Everything is cursing me. Why did you put this haram in me? It's filthy. It's bad. I don't want it. But every single one of us cannot feel that. We don't realize it. But it contaminates all our organs and they all curse us to the degree that they will bear witness against us on the day of Qiyamah. We don't want that to happen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks through Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam telling us that that portion of flesh which has been built or which has been made through haram will never ever enter Jannah. An-naru awla bih. Because it needs to go into the fire to be burnt out. Only pure things can enter Jannah. For that reason, it is of utmost importance. We rather lose money and rands and property and what have you than to even have a little bit of haram in our income. May Allah forgive us all. Be careful what you eat. Be careful not only what you eat that it must be halal, but to go a step further. That the money you use to buy those items must also be halal. Make sure your earnings are pure and clean because if they are not going to be of the purest level, they will add spiritual cholesterol to destroy yourself spiritually. Let me take you right back to the beginning. Adam alayhi salatu wassalam committed a sin. We know that. I want to take you to the effect as soon as he ate. What happened? You know it and I know it, but I don't think we've actually thought about it. The first thing that happened is shamelessness. That is what happens when you eat one morsel of haram, when you have rice that is purchased with funds that are questionable, you become shameless and your children become shameless. And your private parts are the first to be affected. Allahu Akbar. That's a fact of life. So it's better not to eat and to remain hungry than to put one morsel of something questionable into your mouth. And when we say your private parts are the first to be affected, let me inform you. Adam alayhi salatu wassalam, the first thing that happened, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, بَدَتْ لَهُمَا سَوْآتُهُمَا Their private parts became exposed. They were covered. They became exposed. Shamelessness. And that's what will happen to myself and yourselves. But if Adam alayhi salatu wassalam did not engage in tawbah, and if he did not regret, shamelessness would have overtaken him and everybody after him. May Allah protect us all. Though he was forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Wallahi, if, the, if one of the first or the first of creation, meaning of man, the first of man could have such a powerful, solid, great, massive impact upon having one bite of haram. Tell me when we are eating bags and bags of 50 kilos of rice every single day, what is happening to our children? What is happening to us? We are contaminated from the top to the bottom, from the side to the other side. And our children and our progeny for generations to come, the genes within us are also becoming haram. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us hunger rather than eating from haram. Really. And yet we cheat each other daily. We crook each other. We lie to each other. We deceive each other in business. We eat interest like it's no man's business. We call it Anything we want, we call it investment, we call it whatever we want. Wallahi, interest is interest and it will remain haram until the day of Qiyamah and it will continue having a negative impact on those who devour it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all acceptance and may He protect us from haram.